welcome back to my youtube channel so as i said in a previous video i was going to do a bit of a garden makeover um so here we are in the garden as you can see it's just like an absolute tip at the moment there's kind of loads to do so i'm going to start off by bleaching the deck and, and the astroturf it's got kind of like moss and mold on it at the bottom there um, and just generally tidy up there's like loads of things lying around all over you can see that's where I normally do all my spray painting and there's loads of tins and stuff like that so um, yeah I'm gonna crack straight on with it so I started by cleaning the deck and by putting some bleach down I thought it would be best to take the dog indoors because I was using bleach I used two bottles of bleach with some water and made like a watery solution I then went ahead and sprayed all of the um, artificial grass because sometimes the dog uses that as toilets so I just wanted to freshen it up for the summer um, I then also went ahead and done the decking um, just to, to clean that up I went inside and waited for a while for it to dry and then I came out and swept the decking um, there was lots of debris and leaves from um, the winter so I just wanted to get rid of those to give the make it nice and clean to give the paint a good base I then went ahead and started to paint the decking. I did actually go ahead and use a sweeping brush to do that. I just find it so much easier. Um, I used the Home Bargains Ron Seal paint and you get five, no sorry, you get nine litres for £5.99. And it did take an entire, the full tub to do it. Um, I think I did lose a lot of it down the decking but it was still worthwhile because it made it so much quicker. I'd done the entire decking in about 14 minutes. Okay guys we're outside now and um, unfortunately I didn't film any more of the actual makeover and the painting um, but as you could see I said it took us about 14 minutes to do that was the bottom decking and then I carried on doing the top decking and then I just started spraying and I kind of forgot to pick my camera up for the rest of the day. But I'm still waiting for a few bits coming from like Amazon and what I've ordered online. Um, I'm waiting for an outdoor rug coming which will kind of finish it off. But I just really wanted to show you the progress so far and what I've been up to over the last week or so. So here we go. Right, so I'm going to start over here. So this is actually my favourite thing in the garden. And this is the memory tree for my mum and dad. And it's an apple tree and as you can see it's starting to blossom at the moment and it just kind of makes us happy every year when i say it blossom um so yeah that is my very favorite thing in the garden next to it i've just got an artificial blossom tree the only thing is it's actually stopped work and the lights stopped coming on so what i've done is i've put the lights i got from poundland on there um and it just looked really pretty in the evenings when it's lit up i also put some of the little roses i wound those around that i got from the range just to kind of brighten it up a little bit um in this corner I've got a two-seater sofa and I've just put so firstly you would have seen in my B&M haul I got some cushions for the rattan furniture well unfortunately they just didn't work they were just far too small when they came when I when I tried them so I had to take them back I then looked on eBay and it was going to be like £300 to get replacement cushions and I just literally could not justify spending £300 on cushions so I decided to go to the fabric shop and buy some water resistant fabric which cost me £27 and that was enough to do the three seat and the two chairs at the bottom and this one over here and I just got my sewing machine out and made some like slip cushions which were really easy actually I mean granted they don't look as good as they would have if they had been professionally made but the difference was immense so I chose to go for the £27 fabric um, so I've just covered that one in black and I've put a little cushion on that I got from Home Bargains which I think was about 4 or 5 99 I painted all of my existing stuff, the pots and things like that which were green and I painted them, sprayed them with that spray paint that you would have seen that I got from Amazon and that was only 4 99 and in total I've used about 2 tins of that in variations of different colored mustards and yellows um 
So I sprayed the mirror, which says welcome to my garden, which I had out last year. Um, so I've just got my little rosemary tree over here, which I think has gone seed. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm, I'm rubbish with plants. Um, down here, I've just got a little box, and that's where Peaches has her little wee-wees because I don't really like her going on the artificial grass at the bottom because it kind of smells a bit. She does use it in the winter, uh, but in the summer, I always tell her to go into her little box, and she does do. Um, so that's where and then i can just sew flora that box so that is that and then down next to it i've got a little um plant pot which i made from an old towel and i dipped it in some cement and let it dry then i just spray painted that black with some metallic paint i used the black with the metallic on that little pot over there next to peaches so the chair that peaches is sitting on last week i went for some bread to morrison's and when i came out i was flicking through my phone sitting in the car and i seen this tree uh, this um chair on facebook chip shop and it was like literally about a mile away from where i was so i kind of emailed them and went and picked it up straight away and i thought that would be fab spread um mustard it would just work in the garden and that's what i did do so that's the story behind the chair it was only 10 pound and i was absolutely over the moon with it i just think it works really well i also sprayed that planter i do need to get some plants to go on the bottom of that um then i'll just go down the bottom of the shed so so these are some of the bits that you would have seen me pick up in my last haul. Um, I've just sprayed all my pots yellow and mustard and just put some artificial plants in. Those are the birdcage that I got from Poundland, which were £5. And I've just put like a little mustard pot in there with some plants in. Um, those are the plants I got from the range. I think they were 3 .50. My little poodles there, I sprayed those black and put the metallic paint over them. And you would would have seen the wicker basket the basket with the lavender in and I got that from B&M bargains over here I've got three more of them pots that I made and on hanging on this I've got a little mirror saying good vibes only and I just used a steering wheel cover and cover it with some string and stuck a few flowers on my hot glue um, down here I've just got some signs which I made last year which say summer and summertime. I spray painted the sun again using the same paint. Down here I've just got one of those little cool mats um, which I got for from Home Bargains for Peaches and it just says chill pose on the other side it says it's lemon and it just stays cool all year round so it's just somewhere nice and cool for her to lie down. I got a mustard throw from Dunelm and I also got these two mustard cushions from Home Bargains and I think they were 5 99 I think the throw was £8. You've seen the butterflies in my last haul on Michael Shed. Um, I've just left the sign on that I stuck on last year saying the happiness of your thoughts depend on the quality no sorry the happiness of your life depend on the quality of your thoughts and some other stuff that i done with my cricket machine again this is just a messy area where i do my spray painting over here i've got this artificial plant that you're seeing like the tree and i've just teamed that up with a little fairy which my dad bought us like maybe 15 years ago or something so i don't actually want to get rid of that even though it's broke so i just stuck that ball in front where it's actually broke i also spray painted the um log burner because it was just all rusty so again i just went over that with the black and then a bit of metallic paint um over in this corner i've just got my barbecue and i've got that plant that you've seen us get from primark and i've just spray painted the buddha mustard as well to match everything else in the garden then over here we've got my little shed which is that's Michael's shed down there and he keeps all his rubbish in there and I keep all my spray paints and crafty stuff in here and I've also got a little sign on there which is on from last year saying never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment in the garden. Um, 
I've just put these two palms in front of there. Those were the pots I got from Home Bargains. And I just picked those palms up from Morrison's, I think it was. And this is the messy corner. That's my spray painting corner where I spray if I need to be up in a up a height or whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the garden, which I did say I would show you around. So it, unfortunately, it's not a very nice day today. Obviously, if it was sunny, it would look so much nicer. But it's just a dull day. So the big rug I've got, oh look at Peaches sitting over there. How blooming cute. We'll just have to do a little close-up of Peaches. Hello, my little princess. Hello, my beautiful girl. Are you just beautiful? You are, you know. You are. Um, Sorry about that. Anyway, so like I say, the garden would m look much nicer if it was sunny. Um, and I'm going to put the big, I've got uh, the waterproof rug coming. And that's going to go like here on the top decking. And yeah, it'll just brighten it all up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you around my garden today. That's going to be today's video. Um, and I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you would like to subscribe I would be so grateful I will leave my Instagram link down below which is right at home 30 um, so till next time bye